So it's raining out, and you might be wondering why I don't have my microphone plugged in. That is because we're taking the electric mini out for a drive, and this time around, you get to see exactly what I see. So anyway, for those of you wondering, this is a 2021 Mini Cooper Signature Trim SE electric car. And we have the digital dash, we have navigation over here. It is actually a fantastic little car. Now it is raining today, so I'm out for a drive just so you all can see what it's like to drive one of these. And it's actually pretty comfortable. It's pretty smooth. The cars all come with performance tires because there isn't an all season available that has the correct rolling resistance for the electric mini so that you get the best fuel economy. So best fuel economy, best range. So they all have performance tires. So it is November, it's cold outside, it's raining, and this car actually feels pretty good on the road even though it's on basically summer tires. Now the cool thing is when you get up to traffic lights, if you let off the throttle, this car will actually slow itself down rather than you having to put the brake on. So you rarely have to use the brakes in this car. Now, I still recommend you do that even if you don't want to, but there is the option. So if I just let off the throttle right now, the car starts to slow down. And it's just one of those interesting things. Now I got my speed right here. I'm going about 48, 49 miles per hour. And the digital readout on the digital dash is very, very nice. I now I do wish the car had head up display, but if you go to other trim levels, I think if I think Iconic has the head up display. I'm not sure about Signature Premium. But for $29 to $31,000, this Signature Trim entry level electric mini is actually really nicely equipped. You get 16 inch wheels and it's very, very comfortable. Now I think the 16 inch wheels are also what makes the ride so much better, so much more smooth. The 17s are a little bit harsher naturally. Now of course all the electric minis have navigation. This is now standard. It's touch screen and if you get to the higher trim levels, you can get the 8.8 inch nav screen, but this one comes with the 6.5 inch nav screen, which is very, very good and has everything you need right there. And that's fantastic. You usually, you used to not be able to get that as an option and now you can. But in the case of the electric mini, this is standard. So here's a case in point, we're gonna test out the brakes. So I'm not on the brake right now and now I am. But the car did most of the slowing down. I didn't have to do much to slow the car down. So our range right now, we have about 67% battery left. That's good for about 61 miles according to our readouts here. But we got nice settings in here. Temperature's very comfortable. It's at 73 degrees right now. And if I wanted to, I could turn the seat heaters on and be even more comfortable. This is the leatherette interior, but it's still very, very nice. Adjustable thigh rest right here, very nice. I mean, it has all the stuff you would need in a normal Mini Cooper. And of course, this one is British Racing Green with white roof and mirror cap, so it's very classic looking as well. Does not have the panorama sunroof, but I don't think that's necessarily something you always need. So it's nice to not actually have it in this particular car. But if you really want one, it is available on Signature Premium and Iconic. Now I have the car in sport mode right now, so acceleration is incredibly quick. I mean, it really just picks up. Now, I believe the zero to 60 is about 7.3 seconds, I think. I'm not exactly sure about that, but I know I probably said it correctly before, but I can't remember it. Either way, this, the acceleration feels very quick, especially for an electric car, because it's almost instantaneous torque. It's just a great little car. I can't find anything wrong with this one. I really, really like it. I'd own one, definitely. I need to slow down a little bit. We're going about 60 miles per hour. It is just a very, very smooth ride, too. All in all, there is really nothing negative I can say about this. It feels like a Mini, it drives like a Mini. 
it rounds corners like a mini it is a mini and for the first foray into a mass production electric mini mini has gotten it right with this car granted i wish the range were a little bit longer it's at 110 miles of range on average that's under worst case scenario conditions but i've seen people get them up even higher mileage than that and here we go again and my foot is not on the brake and we are stopped and off we go again now if you live in a city metropolitan area like for example we're in kansas city right now this car would be perfect for you because you can go around do your errands go to the city do what you need to do and then come home plug it in and charge the car and it's ready for the next day and that is great you got all that stuff done with a full charge and you're ready for the next day to go again and it can do all that it's not you're not going to have the range anxiety that people think you would have with an electric car this is definitely the car to have if you're going to live in a city it's small it's easy maneuverable around the city and if you live in a city like kansas city for example has a handful of good charging areas but there's other city metropolitan areas with much more charging areas you have options and this is just one of those options now this is the car if someone were going to buy a cooper s and they live in the city and i would ask them what's your average driving going to be and they said oh just around town kind of stuff i would recommend the electric mini because it's actually a little less expensive than some of the ideally configured gas powered engine cooper s's and you're getting 181 horsepower 199 foot pounds of torque it's a very good little car very quick little car very nimble little car and it will do everything the other mini would do but you're not using fuel to do it you're using electricity and you'll be able to go do your grocery shopping you'll be able to go do and you're in this case do your christmas shopping plenty of room in the back to store all that stuff carry all your belongings carry all your packages whatever you have and it's just fantastic it's really a great little car and we have this car right now decked out on the sides with a slogan that says zero emissions maximum fun and i'm inclined to agree i think it is zero it's definitely zero emissions obviously but it's definitely maximum fun this is definitely a fun little car to drive and i'm hoping that people would see that around kansas city and might be interested in buying one of these but we shall see what happens with that see if they actually do decide they really want this car and i'm hoping people do because i think it's great <laughs> i wish it would stop i wish i actually slowed down a little bit quicker but i love the fact that it slows itself down it's kind of fun now it's a single speed transmission obviously not a manual and i know how a lot of you are out there that are purists you want it to be a manual transmission it doesn't need to be in this case definitely not down here at Country Club Plaza. Anyway, if you're interested in buying an electric mini, they're currently available for ordering. They don't keep, usually keep them in stock at the dealerships. I would encourage you to definitely go to your local dealership if they have one available to check out and drive it. If they haven't yet, just buy one anyway if you really want one of these. They are really great cars. You will not be disappointed with it, but I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like below. Don't forget to comment. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Go check out my playlist on the electric Mini Cooper at the end of this video. And as always, life is too short to drive a boring car, so um, drive a Mini. 
I'll see you all in the next video.